Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, yeah. All right, so first of all, let me apologize for this bootleg ass quality. My PC and my Elgato are messing up right now. They're not talking to each other, so I'm using my phone to record this, so I apologize. Anyways though, this video is on how to create a solo public lobby so you can make money in peace in GTA 5 online. All right, I told everybody I'd make this video. Uh, if this does not work out for you, if it's not helping, um, there's plenty of YouTube videos and things like that out there. This is for the PlayStation Network only, okay? This is for PSN only. Uh, this is not the method to use for Xbox or PC, but there are plenty of methods out for that, all right? So, uh, say you're in a lobby and you want to get into a solo pub and you want to start making some money in peace without people messing with you and shit like that. This is how you want to do it. Uh, you just want to tap your PlayStation button on your controller, right? So, go into your, your, uh, your home screen right here or whatever. Uh, go up top to your little uh, you know, icon bar, your settings area or whatever, all this other stuff right here. Um, and then you want to go right here to settings, a little briefcase or box or whatever. Hit X on that. And you come to the screen right here. We've all seen this. And then you want to go to network. Okay. You want to go to network right there to get it going. Hit X on that. And you want to set up internet connection. This is very, very simple, very, very easy. No big deal. So hit X on that. Now, this works with Wi-Fi or LAN cable method. Either way, once again, if my video doesn't help out and say you're using Wi-Fi and it's not working, just, you know, just Google or YouTube. You know, there's, there's plenty of videos out there, so don't worry about that. Uh, I use a LAN cable, so I'm going to hit X on that and go through. And it says, how do you want to set up your internet connection? Well, you want to customize it. So you want to go down to custom. All right. Hit X on that. And then here we have a few uh, options and settings that you can just kind of go through real quick. IP address settings, leave it on automatic. Hit X on that. DHCP host name, leave it on do not specify, that's fine. Uh, DNS settings, leave it on automatic, that's good, no problem, just hit X, skip through. Now MTU settings, this is where you want to start, you know, getting your um, your customizing on right here. So this is what you want to adjust. And you want to go to manual, okay, make sure you go to manual, get that taken care of, hit X on that. And it's your MTU, all right. Now, the very first time you do this, your MTU will say 1500. I've already done this on mine. It says 800. That's what you want to switch it to. Okay. So the very first time you'll see it, it'll be 1500. You'll hit X on this bar right here. And this little uh, MTU box pops up with your numbers or whatever. <clears throat> now, remember, the very first time you see it, it'll say 1500. Now, if you want to play another game, if you want to say you are, you're on GTA and you want like uh, to set up a race or you want to do some missions or something like that or a heist, you'll have to switch this back to 1500. Okay, so you'll re just redo this process and you'll type in 1500 like that. All right, let me get here and bam. Now, if you want to be in a solo lobby to make cash, you need to put it to 800. Okay, so uh, to play with other people, 1500, and, you know, and to uh, be solo, 800. And if you want to play other games or whatever, you have to switch it back to 1500. All right, so say, you know, you want to you get a solo pub. So go in here, you'll delete the 1500 out. You'll type in 800 just like that. And then you hit done. Bam. There you go. All right. And then you got that taken care of. You're scrolling here to next. Highlight that. Hit X. Bam. And then you got your proxy server option right there. Just hit do not use. Don't worry about that. Hit X on that. And your internet settings are updated. And then you um, you can you can test your internet connection if you want to. You do not have to. That's no problem. You can just back out. And then your, your game will lag out. And it will get into a solo lobby. Now remember... Uh, it, this will take a while. This takes a long time. It takes like a, a solid like five or six minutes for you to load in. All right, so I'm going to sort of back out. Uh, go back into, it'll kick you out of your party and stuff like that. Uh, so you're signing up. You have to go back to story mode, and then you'll have to log back in to online. And that's how that whole process works. And the whole thing, it, it takes a little bit of extra time. That's why I'd recommend do this at the beginning before you even get in the game, before you even load in GTA Online, and uh, you'll be fine. You'll sit here in the clouds for a while. Uh, you'll load into story mode, and once you load back into online, it'll it'll be a minute for it. It gets back in there. I guess like we can just hang out. I mean, honestly, the video is over right now. The video is done. It's over. So if you guys want to dip out, do this, you're good to go. Uh, if you want to see the whole thing live, the whole process, you can just stick around. So I'm back on story mode. Let it load in for a minute here. Um, okay, it's loaded in. Let's go back to online. It's my online character. Oh, oh, shit. Bam, there we go. Uh, are you sure you want to go to GT Online? Just hit yes. Bam, there we go. And now we're going back online. Now, this is where it'll take a while, so don't freak out. Nothing's, you know. And every now and again, it'll just say it, uh, it timed out. 
and you'll have to uh, you have to just kind of just like you know go back online. Just you, you, it'll force you back into story mode, and you'll have to go back online. And that, that's happened to me twice, but it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. Don't freak out. But uh, yeah, as of right now, we're just loading. It's just loading in the clouds. It's just taking a minute. And it takes a little bit longer than normal. You see down here, we're still loading. GTA Online, little loading wheel right there. And like I said, you know, it takes about five, about five solid minutes. So once again, this video is over. It's done. I already showed you the method. You're good to go. Um, now, listen, I want to address something real quick. This is brought up to me uh, by one of our members. Uh, it's no big deal. I just want to get ahead of it. Now, say you have a created solo lobby. And uh, there's a few, you know, say you got some OG members coming in there and they bring some friends or whatever. Um, you know, by all means, keep, you know, defend your lobby, keep your lobby private, but always try and send a message. Hey, do you know this person? Or say you're bringing a buddy in that's not an OG member, you know what I mean? Which you really shouldn't be doing, right? You know, if, if you want to do this, you know, do it on your own and get your own lobby set up. But say you want to bring in like a member that's not an OG, you need to let him know, hey, man, we're coming in here with OG members. If they may accidentally shoot you or vote to kick you, don't freak out. You need to send word to the other members in there saying, hey, this guy's friendly. Don't kick him out. And if you're trying to kick somebody out, you need to send a word out and say, hey, other OG members in here, do we know this guy? Do we know this random? Is he cool? Is he friendly? And send it. It takes a few minutes just to stop off on the side of the road, send a message out through your phone or through PSN, whatever. And uh, that way there's no issues in communication, okay? So make sure that we're doing that. Be diligent. All right, you've seen me do it. You know, I always try and holler out, hey, who's this? this do, do we know this guy or whatever? And then if you don't, if it's, a, if it's a legit random, then yeah, just vote his ass out and get him out of there. Uh, but if you're bringing a random in, it's not an OG member to a, you know, a lobby with other members in there. You need to send word immediately. You need to let your buddy know, hey, if this happens, don't freak out. If they take a pop shot at you or if they're voting you, don't worry about it. And then you need to immediately send word to everybody else. Say, hey, this guy's friendly. You know, talk, say it in the lobby. Try and talk to him over the mic or just send a message to the phone either way. And then the person that, if you're already in there, try and, uh, and give them the benefit of the doubt just for a moment. Now, if you don't get any response or whatever, you know, take a screenshot of it, whatever you're going to do, you know. But remember, guys, we're all, it's all a team thing. We're all, you know, a friend. We're all hanging out. Uh, so, you know, don't worry about that. So we're back in there. It's loaded up, right? And it's a solo lobby. We're good to go. Bam, solo, it's public, and you're straight, and then you can go about your business, and you're good to go, all right? So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this helps out. Remember, if this video didn't uh, work for you or whatever, now this, this method will work for, for PSN, okay? But if you can't figure it out, like I said, there's tons of YouTube videos about this and stuff like that, so you know, just knock it out. Do what you guys got to do. Get your money made up. Remember, you know, OGs for life, right? We're, we're crew, we're fam. Everybody be easy, be cool. Uh, get your money up, man. Make that money, for real do your thing i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you got any questions down below um you guys know what to do man make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illustrious reels content of the game make sure you smash i mean it's must smash that like button stay dangerous peace oh